Chinatown in Honolulu, Hawaii. Um, if you've never been here, it actually has a pretty good mix of Chinese and Vietnamese goods and restaurants. And today we're going to a restaurant. Uh, I got a super thanks from Tuan. I believe that's how you say his or her name. And he gave a generous amount to try Q Restaurant. It's here in Chinatown off of South King Street, I believe, or is it North King Street? But anyway, on King Street, there's a Wahoo Market, and uh, it's somewhere down here, heading towards River Street, I believe. But you can see lots of markets here selling stuff, and um, you know, I did a tour of Chinatown, a lot of meat markets over there. <clears throat> so we'll try to find this restaurant. Hopefully I find it. I'm thinking it's right here. Aha. Uh -huh. So here it is. Q Vietnamese cuisine. And hopefully it's not too crowded and we can uh, show some other food inside. Let's go in. Okay, we got seated right away, and actually there's a lot of people in here uh, eating, and it's very clean and bright in here, and the menu is pretty uh, extensive. They've got um, rice dishes, different types of noodles from Vietnamese cuisine, udon, and uh, different types of rice noodles, kom tam, rice dishes, your typical spring rolls, and um, summer rolls. Uh, but we came here for the bun bo way, which is what... Um, gave a super thanks to try for. They're very famous for our Bun Bo Way here at this restaurant. And if you haven't checked out my Vietnam series, I did try Bun Bo Way. It's from the city of Hue in central Vietnam. And it's a uh, spicy soup with, um, thank you. With, okay, thanks. Okay. Sorry, it's, um, a spicy soup with pork uh, knuckles and uh, she just came out with all the herbs. They're a little bit different for pho. It's uh, basil with banana flour. That's what's shredded on there. But you got your typical other things like your bean sprouts and such. And they have your array of condiments on the side. We've got your chili oil your fish sauce, your nukmum, hoisin sauce, and they have, instead of sriracha, some authentic Vietnamese hot sauce, chin su. And that is what they use in Vietnam. They don't use sriracha, if you didn't know, that's American. It's made in California, so they actually have chin su. Uh, I saw it a lot in the supermarkets, and you'll see it a lot in pa places uh, in Vietnam. So, looking good so far, service is very friendly. Um, yeah, we got uh, some bundle way, and then um, my son wants to eat kong tong, which is a uh, chicken rice dish with egg. Uh, I think it comes with a grilled pork chop. You can get kalbi if you want, and a Vietnamese sausage, a meatloaf, and an um, array of vegetables, so sounds good. So our drinks came out. This is freshly squeezed orange juice, no crumb. And, um, he showed us the oranges where they freshly cut them up and squeeze them. So it is quite expensive, $6.28 for this, but the boy wants it, so he gets it. I got my Cafe Suodu, the milk, condensed milk coffee, Vietnamese coffee iced. Tastes good. And then our soup came out. It's super huge and big, so I can't lift it up, but um, it smells delicious and looks really nice. So my son's com com came out. Look at that. So huge. And the com tom has the rice, the egg, uh, the glorious looking pork chops. It's amazing. Some shredded uh, pork. And 
the veggies and a Vietnamese, like a sausage meatloaf. And he's so nice, he gave scissors, so it's easier to cut the pork into little bite-sized pieces. All right, let's take a taste of this uh, real quick before uh, my son gets into it. Um, I'm gonna mix the egg into the rice. Put a little milk on there for a nice bite. A little pork on there, one big bite. Mmm. So good. And with the pickled veg, it's super yummy. Mmm. I'm gonna try a little piece of the Vietnamese sausage or meatloaf. This is what it looks like. Kind of reminds me of the, the meatloaf I had in Hanoi. It has that red color. It has cinnamon in it. A little bit of um, the pork. I don't know if it's like gelatin or pork skin that's shredded. And some more rice. And a little bit of nook mong. Mm, that's some good sausage too. Everything is so flavorful, and the pork definitely is delicious. I mean, look at that scallion oil on there. It gives it so much flavor. Back to the main event, which is the Bun Bo Wei. I see a little bit of um, shredded shallot on there, the herbs, and this red spicy soup. Uh, we got some various meats in there. And um, looks like there's the gelatinous parts, like tendon, and some fish cake maybe. But we will explore further when we dig in. Let's uh, put in our herbs. I love basil, so we'll put a lot in there. While it's hot. We have our banana flour, shredded, and uh, I forgot what this is, but we'll put that in there. Some bean sprouts and culantro. And then we'll squeeze a little bit of lemon in there. And then we're good to go. Mix that in the soup. Let's taste the broth first. Mmm, really flavorful. Quite different from the one I had in Hanoi. It's flavorful and porky. You smell a little fish sauce, but not as fishy. The one in Hanoi was very fishy. And you see that big, big pork knuckle in there. That's what they're known for. And the soup isn't really too spicy, it just got a little bit of a kick to it. Like you could definitely add more, um, you know, sriracha or chili if you want. It actually, the more I drink the soup, you definitely can taste the shrimp paste, the mom tom, uh, which doesn't bother me. But it's umami, it's not like fishy like I said, it just gives it a umami taste because it's mixed with that pork broth. Mm. Very good. The noodles are cooked perfect. They soak up all that delicious broth. And every time, you know, because you mixed in the herbs, you get a bite of herb, it just changes the flavor profile with every bite because you get a little bit of cilantro, a little bit of basil, and every different bite. And if you can see these noodles, they're different from pho noodles. They're a little bit rounder, like how I was trying to show in the other video, but it was raining and so loud, but they're rounder. Different shape of noodle. Almost like a skinnier udon, if anything. Okay, let's try this um, meatball. I don't know if it's a fish cake or a meatball. I think it's a meatball. It's not fishy. Very good. Good flavor and a little spice from the soup. It soaks up all that spicy goodness and it's like peppery. Really good flavor. It's very meaty. Mm. So many textures going on. It's 
sometimes you get a little crunch of the shallots that he put in that were fried and then um, you know some of the crunch of the herb and then the soft noodles and the slice of the soup wow and then you get these big thick cuts of meat not just this one here's another one and here's a whole bunch more so like four four cuts of meat and then there's like tendons in here these gelatinous pieces of tendon so let's try this meat I think the soup is so good. It has the right, right amount of spice. I don't even want to put any chili oil in there or any hoisin. The meat is very tender, it falls apart, and you don't really need to chew too much in your mouth. And it's very flavorful too. Mm. Seasoned just right. After a while though, the spice starts to creep up on you as you keep eating more and more of it, so it's kind of spicy. But initially it wasn't spicy. I think the more and more you eat it and drink the soup, it starts to make your nose run. All right, now we're going to go to the special part of this bundle way. It's this big pork knuckle. I don't even know how I'm going to eat it because it's still piping hot. It's like smoking and steaming still. So I'll try my best to not burn my mouth. Mm. Still got the skin on it and it's gelatinous so if you're not into that uh, you might not like it, but it's got a lot of meat on it. You can just peel off the gelatinous parts, but this whole bowl has a lot of meat, so you can't go wrong. It's like a meat lover's soup, and if you're tired of that, you can try this um, totally different noodle soup from Vietnam with a lot of taste uh, packed and into one bowl. It definitely gives you a punch in the mouth of different flavors and different textures, fried shallots that are crispy, the crispy freshness of the herbs, and a lot of meats and the meatballs, and just that umami flavor of the spicy soup and the, you know, umami flavor of the shrimp paste that's in the soup. So definitely try it out. Very different from pho, but also very tasty. All right, so I tried to tackle this as much as I could, but there's just so much meat in here. I left like one piece of meat and a little bit of tendon and some noodles, but I'll try to finish the noodles after filming. But I am extremely stuffed. A lot of food, can't complain. Even the Tom Tom, lots of food in there. Very generous portion. Service is very nice. The man is very, very nice. Um, I think he was interested in why I ordered these dishes because a lot of people just get pho. Uh, you know, you don't really see people order Bun Bo Wei or Kum Tom <coughs> and uh, actually say the word Kum Tom, but I told him, you know, I, I like Vietnamese food and I just came back from Vietnam. And it's so funny how I told you about how there's a battle between foods and things and he said um, when I told him I went to Hanoi he's like oh no you need to go to the south more better but um kind of funny even though I have been to the south but um very good food very good service from a jovial man uh, definitely come down here it's very clean like I said nice air conditioning and it's getting kind of crowded in here lots of people coming in for lunch they do open really early at seven I believe so you know the and noodles and stuff and the kum tum with the egg are great breakfast dishes as well so you can eat it for breakfast like um, in Vietnam they eat soups for breakfast. If you're wondering how much the bun bowl way is it is quite expensive but you did see how much meat and pork knuckle is in there and like I can't even finish it. It looks quite small but it isn't. It's a pretty big bowl in person so it is $17.80 but um, it is amazing flavors and it takes a long time to make the broth so you have to appreciate that. As far as the tum tum, I'm not sure. I took a picture of the menu, but I couldn't, uh, you know, get close to it. I will find out the price and put it up here. Um, very generous portions of rice, egg, and raw. 
lots of meats on there. So um, definitely great food. If you're looking for an authentic Vietnamese experience, definitely come to Q Restaurant here on King Street. It's right a little bit away from um, the Wahoo Market going towards River Street between that and Mauna Kea. So you can use that as cross-references between River Street and Mauna Kea Street. If you're looking for parking, I've always said I park at the city parking lot. So we park at the Mauna Kea parking lot. It's really cheap. It's probably a dollar or less than two bucks to park there if you're not staying too long. And uh, you can, once you get up the stairs, it'll take you towards uh, Cape Colleague Market. You cut through there, and it's a very short walk to King Street. So if you like this, press the like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you again on another food adventure. Very big thanks to Tuan for his uh, super thanks, and also to all the other people that have uh, donated. Uh, I don't ever ask for it, so don't ever, you know, feel like you have to, but thank you so much uh, to other people as well. Kevin Watson, who generously donated. Uh, we used your money wisely uh, on our trip with my son, and then also... Um, Samantha W, she always uh, does super thanks, so thank you, Samantha. All that goes to, you know, buying new food and stuff and showing you guys and um, also t towards our trips. So thank you, everybody, for that. I really appreciate your generosity, and I'll see you again next week. Peace out.